Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 120 of my campaign of Scotland in Crusader Kings 2. So, picking up where we left off, um, I've managed to get rid of my extra vassal. It was this guy in here, the Earl Uroid of Perfedwad, transferred him to Duke Inwer of Gwynedd, and everything's rosy now. So, uh, let's slow down a bit. As I snuck into the kitchen for my usual night snack, I chanced upon Duchess Catron. We've been chatting and laughing for hours now, but the world, words have grown softer and our hands are touching. Suddenly she leans in and whispers softly in my ear. Um, ah, yeah, I'm a possessed drunk who's arbitrary and lustful. So, yes. Uh, so I follow her to bed. We want uh, retinue back over towards York. And I think the plan for today, I'm going to create the Kingdom of Ireland uh, so that I can get the Jure claims and continue the conquest over there. The world will not weigh me down anymore. I have a new spring in my step, joy in my heart, and a smile on my face. I wonder why. So I lose the trait stressed. Oh, hang on. Yes, let's go to work. Well, I'm happy. Slow down, slow down. What's going on? Okay, so... I wonder if that's got anything to do with your advances towards me. Righteous imprisonment. Oh, I can't really imprison her. Well, I suppose I could, but <laughs> it's not very nice. Uh, yep, yeah, let's... Go to your Kingdom of Ireland. Uh, and we will create that. Get that. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should nominate a successor. So, uh, Prince William of Scotland. Yeah. Nominate him. And now. Let's get you guys moving over here. Your liege is Queen of Leinster. So, declare war. Uh, I suppose it has to be Ossery then. So once we get our troops over there, We'll do that. Chancellor's down here, trying to get a claim on Winchester for us. I suppose I could create the Kingdom of England again. No, I can't, I don't think. I have a new son. He's a stut stutter. Okay. What's Ellen the Chase up to? No, whatever. Okay, and we were waiting for the troops to go over. Let's see what we can do to improve our holdings. Hollow Vore would be lovely in there. And in Middlesex. Let's get a whole wall there too. And now Clear War. Did you play on Ossery and send you guys march in? Oh Spymaster was killed by armed thugs. Not Beatrix, no. Uh, 12. 
You think I'm a tyrant? Elector titles held. Okay, you want to see it in the council, right? So we'll should be able to sort out your happiness. We're already up at 53. That's good. Yep, so we're moving the retinue in there. Uh, smack them down. Oh, my guys are over there, so forget that. And there we go. Follow in there. Do we have a siege leader? I don't know that we do. Victory! Oh, who's this? Heir to the Bishopric of Ross. I'm already up at 70%. Perfect. Yeah, let's go and hit them one more time. And we'll come back in and seize them down. Cool. Now, siege leader. We've got an architect. And he's already in charge, so that's great. Do I have anyone in my realm? Go away. Who's a siege leader? We do. Mordleg, mayor of Newport. I... I can't appoint you commander. Okay. Why not? Ah, uh, right. Mordleg of Newport. Your liege is Usult the Whisperer, Earl of Gwent. Damn. You're going to become the Earl of Ossery, I believe. Songs of Anguish. My knights are played by terrible nightmares featuring the vile Wolfren, Sevire so daughter. My rival sister in darkness. She howls and roars at me to the tune of infernal bagpipes while Malmbeirth looks on, bellowing with laughter. I am sure that the devil is sending me these dreams for a reason. I must prove myself worthy or be discarded as a weakling. Such is the way in Lucifer's own. Yes, come and have some fun. Uh, I've forgotten already who I was going to give Ossery to. Mortal Egg of Newport. Speed up. The crusade for Andalusia fails. As Wilfrin arrived for our meeting, my servants threw a sack over her and beat the vile child into submission. She is now snugly stowed in a brazen bill that I had built especially for this occasion. Surrounding the bill are some crucified scum from my dungeon, drenched in oil. Okay. Uh, I do love to be bad. Perhaps you raise some more troops. It'll speed up. The corruption crept up on me slowly. Oh dear. Until January 1203, so three years. I'll probably be dead before the end of that. Okay, 96%. Smash them. I was hoping that might have given us a percentage or two, but I suppose it's, <clears throat> it's going to tick up anyway. Cool. And we have our victory. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay, you back over there. The Pope has sent an emissary with a peculiar request. The emissary explains that the cl clergy has been very involved with the hospital in Middlesex as of late, as such a fair compensation is expected to be paid. 214 gold for 20 piety. Or blue raspberry, I think. Right. Wait a minute. Who did the release? Uh, let's ransom these people off. Uh, yeah. And now I was thinking of what this. Oh, no, 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 in here, you, uh, you vassals. So, Mordeleg, the mayor of Newport. Yep, siege leader. Grant you the landed title of the... Oh. oh, no, yeah, okay. Because it was a de jure claim, he keeps it. Dret. Oh well, never mind. Uh, over my vessel limit again. This is a de jure part of Leinster. Well, there you go. Transfer vassalage. This guy. Petty Kingdom of Leicester can be usurped. Why would I want to do that? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop. Okay, thank you very much for the money. Uh, declare war. I can't. No, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that being the case, since I can claim Leinster on behalf of that guy, but I don't know that I want to do that, to be honest. So, uh, yes. So what I'm doing then is destroying the Kingdom of Ireland. <laughs> All that just to get Ossery. Um, trade loot from York requires a new ship. Well, we've got hundreds of money, so that's fine. How about becoming a vassal instead? No. Just because you don't like me. Stop dingling. No, you hate me. Lots of lots of hate. How about you? No. There's lots of seeks to kill going on. So let's get moving. You come back over there. Factions. Increased council power. So. Here's, yeah, okay. Spy master there. Um, you're in your collecting taxes. You're reigning in Kildare. So 
So, Spymaster. <laughs> I know that you're part of the plot. But never mind. Uh, if you would go to Kildare, please. Right, okay. You have my attention. Called in favour, called in favour, called in favour. I really need to look at disabling those alerts for nonsense like that. Oh, I've got stressed back on top of my uh, magical corruption. It's not good. I'm 62. My son is 28. And reasonably good guy. This is driving me nuts. Go to hiding. Duchess Ellen the Chaste. Duchess of Ulster. Trying to kill me. Well, do you know what? Oh, well, it's already auto stopped. So. to touch. Yeah, I haven't used our special abilities for a while, so let's try that. We'll teach you to try and kill me. Oh. I was think I wanted to do something. I've forgotten what it was because of all those alerts going off. Um, seems like my black magic was successful. However, the result was not quite what I imagined. I had hoped a filthy prune Duchess Ellen would be stricken by a mysterious case of pox or plague. All she got was a flu. Um, but you never know. We shall die anyway. Right, yes, I want to have a look. Loads of threats. Nothing to be too worried about, though. Do I have any plots going? No, I don't. And... Let's hold a summer fair. I've not done anything like that for ages. Make people like me. Despite being a possessed, stressed lunatic. The summer fair's archery contest went very well. The clout and the space around it was filled with arrows. Some of them had hit the bullseye. Some of them had missed the clout altogether. The winner was a modest man who disappeared rather quickly after he collected his, his prize. Um... Yeah, let's go King John, or Prince John. Chase down Robin Hood. Our hospital, I think, is maxed, well, not maxed out, but we can't afford this yet. No, we can. No, we can't. 2,700. We might just save up for that then. And gain 10 prestige. Uh, shut the gates. There we are. Over my vassal limit. By two? What happened? Is it because. Uh, do I have some illness other than what I already had? Hmm. 
What's this? King Cadog is no longer marshal for King Cadog the second. What? Received, received, received. I'm a bit confused. King Cadog of Aquitaine has inherited the kingdom of Aquitaine and that is Queen. Aha. So, this is my grandson. No, damn. It's going the wrong way. If he became the king of Scotland as well, can I choose to make Scotland my primary title? Gonna go for it. This could backfire terribly. Oh, but then he's not in my court. No, that's fine. Let's nominate him. Open council position. We have need of a marshal. And there we go. Peasant revolt. Right, let's. I don't want him as a special person. A party of soldiers flying the banner of Baroness Catrian of Montpellier recently set up camp in the middle of a field belonging to farmer in York. You have to compensate the farmer. Plus one stewardship, and that helps out here a bit. Um. Would you stop for a minute? I mean, because we're my grandson, I'm going to get all these alerts. Uh, unless I take that off. Political concerns. <laughs> I'm your grandpa. I don't know. Young folk these days will get no respect. You're my son. Okay. Well, I can't really transfer your vassalage in under anybody else. <clears throat> Drosten. So you're already under the Duke of Kent. Mr. Hall of Warren, Westminster. Uh oh, I was just about to say. Uh, camp fever, okay. I was hoping that I would survive long enough, plus five, 0.5 health, yeah, to save up the money for the better hospital, but I don't think it's going to happen somehow. I now have headache. Hell, 
let's go for it. Let's seek treatment for illness. Duke W. of Galloway states that his extensive medical experience leads him to the certain conclusion that you have the flu. Okay. Abstain for, from food. Alright. Fever as well as everything else. The end is nigh. My life is in your hands. Save me. We will not lie to you, my lord. This will be excruciatingly painful, but, but it must be done. So I become one-legged. And severely injured. I'm just waiting to die now, to be honest. <laughs> I've had a good run. Still look pretty good for a minus 64. You want Gavelkind succession? Keys council power that's at 66%. I think we're in for some rough times. Uh oh. Disaster. Your fellow member of Lucifer's own, Uwen Verkninian, has been caught by court chaplain Malchen Map Alexander Kirchen and his warriors. She now rots away in Earl Eastin's dungeon. Oh, there we go. I was about to get a new spy master. I have a new ear. King Cadog II has given up the ghost at age 64. He died from a bad case of the flu. Guilty of the sin of pride and a lot more, he wanted everyone to know of his greatness. A wicked man, Cadog will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. King William, having mastered many skills, he is sure to be admired by his subjects. Long live King William. Okay. Well, this seems like a good point to end this part. Need to nominate successors for the council, blah blah blah. One favour would. And I need to pick an ambition. Okay, so I'm going to put a break in here. When we come back, I'll sort out our new realm, nice and shiny. And back between suffering a re revolution. But I might continue down that route and try and get the joint kingdom of Scotland and Aquitaine, and then we'll take on the Holy Roman Empire. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers!